Olecranon bursitis causes in treatment. When the bursa located at the olecranon becomes inflamed, irritated, or infected, it's called olecranon bursitis. There are several ways that the olecranon bursa may become inflamed, irritated, or infected. Most often, the bursitis is related to repetitive stress injuries. For example, someone that leans on their elbows a lot or uses their elbows to crawl through tight spaces may be unknowingly causing friction and mild irritation to the olecranon bursa from the constant pressure being applied to it. Bursitis may also occur from a sudden forceful impact to the elbow near the bursa. The injury causes the bursa to produce abnormal amounts of fluid and or the bursa has blood seeping into it from a nearby capillary injured during the impact. As the fluid and or blood doesn't have anywhere to go, the bursa swells. Symptoms include swelling that usually gradually appears, dissipates, and then reoccurs periodically with a chronic injury. Swelling usually suddenly appears with an acute traumatic injury. The greater the swelling, the more motion will be restricted. Pain may range from mild to severe enough to limit elbow movement. Severe pain is most often associated with trauma and infection causes, and pain that usually intensifies with elbow movement and when direct pressure is applied on the elbow. Acute stage symptoms are characterized by swelling, redness, pain, and possibly a local sensation of heat, indicating inflammation. If coolness makes your pain feel better, then the acute stage treatment is recommended. Apply the sinew herbal ice on your elbow to reduce redness, swelling, and inflammation while dispersing accumulated blood and fluids to help restore normal circulation to the elbow. This first aid treatment is used in place of ice to significantly speed up the healing process. It reduces the swelling and inflammation more effectively than ice, allowing you to more quickly regain range of motion. Ice is not recommended because it does not help repair damaged tissues and keeps everything in the injured area frozen, causing the stagnation of blood and fluids and the contraction of muscles, tendons, and ligaments. In Chinese sports medicine, ice is not used and is considered a culprit in injuries that don't heal well. Massage your elbow with acute sinew liniments to relieve pain, reduce swelling and inflammation, break up clotted blood and stagnant fluids, and stimulate circulation of blood and fluids to help cells quickly repair damaged tissues. The sinew sports massage oil is recommended for use before and after exercise, sports, and strenuous activity. It warms and stimulates your muscles, increases circulation, and relieves tightness, hence improving your performance and helping to prevent injury. Chronic stage symptoms begin once the swelling and inflammation are gone, but you still feel pain, stiffness, weakness, and or sensitivity in cold and damp weather. If heat makes your pain feel better, then the chronic stage treatment is recommended. Massage your elbow with chronic sinew liniments to relieve pain and stiffness, strongly stimulate circulation and blood flow to damaged tissues, and promote the healing of overstretched tendons and ligaments. Apply the sinew injury poultice on your elbow to significantly stimulate circulation and blood flow to damaged tissues, relieve residual pain and stiffness, and further promote the healing of overstretched tendons and ligaments. The sinew sports massage oil is recommended before and after exercise, sports, and strenuous activity. It warms and stimulates your muscles, increases circulation, and relieves tightness, hence improving your performance and helping to prevent injury. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. To learn more, visit sinewtherapeutics.com.